It's now been three weeks since a young man with autism walked out of his home in the middle of the night and vanished. Najib Monsif, known as Juby, is 20 years old. He functions as an eight year old, according to his family. Kim Powell has been following this case for us and is joining us live from Scottsdale, where Kim detectives think someone out there must know something about his whereabouts. Yeah, that's right. Since September 23rd, detectives and volunteers have covered a lot of ground in searching for Juby, and they've learned that he enjoyed playing online video games, so they're hoping that that could lead to a major clue as to where he is. Nothing's enough until Juby is found, so we need more and more. It's been an exhausting three weeks for Juby Monsif's family, who has posted flyers all over Scottsdale and done everything they could to get the word out about the 20 year old. We knocked on doors, uh, over 500 different homes we've contacted, we've searched backyards, the desert area, there's a canal that runs nearby. We continue to have um, helicopters, drones. We had um, search and rescue crews that were on horseback and on ATVs. Detective John Heinzelman with Scottsdale Police says they've received hundreds of tips, but nothing concrete. The concern we have with this case is based on his physical limitations and some of the other investigation where we've done in the neighborhood and the fact that we haven't found him yet leads us to believe that there's somebody else that that helped him. Detective Heinzelman says they've learned Juby played online video games and used Twitter. He says it's a strong possibility he met someone online who lured him away or helped him. From everybody we've talked to, I don't believe that. Um, I don't believe he's alone. I believe he is getting some help from somebody and it's just a matter of finding that person and finding out uh, the rest of the story. With no answers for so long and no surveillance footage of Juby anywhere, family and detectives hope whoever knows where he is comes forward. If you have my brother and you know anything about my brother, please know this isn't going to stop and whatever guilt you carry around will not end until my brother is found and we beg you to find the kindness in your heart to say something or to help us find him. But if not, this will never end and the road will stop eventually. And another thing detectives learned is that the week of his disappearance, Juby told his mom and brother that he, they would no longer be seeing him. However, he didn't elaborate on what exactly he meant by that. As for what's next in the investigation, te detectives say that they're waiting to get uh, information and data from gaming softwares through a subpoena. For now, reporting live in Scottsdale, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.